one expression I've heard is anybody can back up. The real trick is recovering. That's very true. I mean, uh, you know, we we will often walk into situations where companies say they've been backing up, and then we, you know, you check over the logs, you you look at the situation, and you say, well, you actually have been backing up consistently <laughs> for over a year. Right. You know, you've been about a one back up here and one back up there, but it's failing. You know, ninety percent of the time, um, and because nobody's monitoring it, um, that's why uh, you know these things happen. So service offerings like ours obviously not only just offer the technology, but come with the service associated with the monitoring and making sure that the recoveries are possible. Um, and the other thing about it is because our service is a, is a SaaS model, we have people constantly backing up and recovering from our systems so that they're constantly being tested just through the normal course. Whereas most people, when they run their own backups, they're not actually testing recovery very often. They, they only try to recover when they actually have to do a recovery which is the worst time to find out something didn't work. Yep. When you say that it's one of the worst times to find out that it doesn't work, I've had that happen just, you know, in terms of my own desktop setups. That's why I have no less than four different backup systems in place at all times now. And if that sounds paranoid, well, yeah, I've lost too much data that way. I'm yep. wondering, though, have you heard of any, you know, actual case studies or horror stories of businesses being shut down because at this point they rely so much on what their servers and if they go down for a week they're literally out of business yeah no there there are a number of instances of people having uh, having issues I, I can't think off the top of my head of one particular example but the um, but there are a number of cases where businesses have businesses have had issues where you know, their systems have gone down and they and they lose customers I, I should say, even one of our uh, one of the people we are working with, I can't talk about the specific name, but we had a company come to us for um, backup of a uh, an AS400 or iSeries IBM platform uh, that was literally losing, uh, that had literally lost transaction data, um, you know, from from you know a, a day's worth of transaction data, and that was thousands of dollars lost uh, that they couldn't get back. So you know, you you have situations like that where. People, you know, once they lose transactions, if there's no way of recovering those transactions, then then there may be no way of billing for them, uh, and that's just revenue that's lost. So there are situations like that all the time that come up where people have lost, um, you know, data or they've lost work that was done, and that's productivity that's drained right out of the right out of the company. And those are just simple examples, as opposed to even full scale disaster situations where where servers go down and the whole business is off is not running anymore. Let me just walk through a kind of a scenario here just to get my head around this a little bit better. Um, for instance, I run a startup off a of virtual private server. Uh, happens to be based in a couple different places. They're very reliable, but, you know, things happen like backups. What would happen in, you know, walk me through the steps here. If at, uh, you know, 8 a.m., a backhoe ripped out my v, my VPS's connection to the outside world. What what would your service do at that point? Well, depending on which service you're you're referring to of ours, um, there would be a few different options. Um, if we're talking about the high availability service as an example, then really the networks would just fail over to the alternate server location, um, and you know within you know minutes the um the traffic would be rerouted to an alternate server how, uh, current, how current at that point is the data backup though um well they, again that's configurable but it's asynchronous replication so uh, near real if time. About, yeah if you were, you were talking about you know double take as an example it's near real time it depends on what your settings are for that but you can have you know near near real time continuous you know protection um, depending on what your needs are, and um, you know, you could have that. You could have that set to hourly, or you could have that, you know, near real time. It's it's really up to up to you to set that configuration. In the case of a of a backup, uh, you would be looking. We have other services where, for example, um, you know, not for a web server, but but for a file server, we have some technology built into our our backup services where we have what's called um, virtual recovery where in the process of while you're actually recovering that data to an alternate location, you can access our on-site appliance technology, on-site appliance server uh, in the background and actually have people not even realize they're accessing a backup server instead of the primary server. So that can be practically instantaneous in the case of you know, a business that's looking to have a, 
a failover for their file server. 